We're gonna film an intro. Today, I am gonna be taller than Quinn, which didn't seem to be humanly possible. Yes. <laughs> but today, it's gonna be possible. We thought it'd be funny to make her a giant. Yeah, so this is gonna use a little bit of Photoshop magic. What we need to do is take some tripod photos, one of a reference, the whole room, and then one of you, and we're gonna combine them. Blow you up. <laughs> it's about the entire room. She's ready. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Make me tall! <laughs> so right now I'm setting up the shot. I think that shows enough of the ceiling? I think so. Yeah, I like the angle. I'm taking the blank photo. Oh, nice. Oh, out of the shot. I don't know where to put it, actually. Sure. That chair's looking weird. There we go. I love it. Yeah? Beautiful. Now you're gonna be the model. Yay! Let's match the lighting and match the angle. Do you wanna hop up on the, the edge of the uh, couch there? Whoa, it's like it's real. It's real already. You did it, I'm tall. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Try and get in a pose where it looks like you're being crushed by the ceiling because you're so oh. tall. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's pretty good. So tall. <laughs> do, uh, now do one arm spread out. <laughs> no, but uh, look like you're being crushed by the ceiling, like you're worried. Hey. No. <laughs> okay, now lower that back arm a little bit. Okay. Oh, I should have been in the original photo. We can retake it. Yeah. Okay. Filming you lining up the shot. I love it. Okay. The life of a photographer. What am I doing? So you're giant over there. Yeah. Should I be like... This <laughs> yeah? That's cute. Okay, yeah, you take a couple like that. Alright. That's a wrap. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, probably the crouching down ones. Yeah. Yeah, I think those I like are it. good. <laughs> I already look big just because of the perspective. I know, I know. We'll pretty much hide your feet behind the couch. Work in some shadows. Looking good. What do we do next? Let's bring him into Photoshop! Whee! <laughs> it's a black screen. Here we are at my computer. We're gonna open up Photoshop. These were our two favorite images, so we're just gonna drag and drop those in. I'm just gonna do a really quick selection here so we can resize the layer to get the general scale. We're gonna bring that to a new layer with layer via copy or Command J. Command T to resize the layer. Now I'm gonna make a selection of the foreground so we can bring that layer to the top. And now we can freely move behind. We can make her slightly larger. We're gonna set just the layer to a layer mask. You can switch between black and white with the X key to paint and erase. So it's non-destructive. Now I'm going to paint out all the edges. The hair looked a little off here, so I'm actually going to paint back in the new hair. It looks a little rough up close, but once you zoom out, it'll look pretty natural. Finish cleaning up around the hands and all the edges. I'm going to make a color range selection around the hair to erase the wall. I'll do that one more time. It looks a little rough, so I'm gonna paint in some new hair again. Now I'm gonna duplicate Jess's layer and go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. This is for the shadow. Now I'm gonna make that completely black with levels by dragging these all the way to the right. Move this over to Shadow Distance and set it to Multiply. And lower the opacity to around 50%. Now I'm going to match the shadow color to the other shadows on the wall as close as I can. You can see the before and after. Just a little bit of extra cleaning up around the edges. I'm actually going to put Jess's hand right through the ceiling, so I'm going to bring the ceiling tile to a new layer and bring it behind the original so I can free transform it to tilt it upwards. Now I'm going to add the shadow from where the light's coming. bringing that to a new layer and dropping the brightness and blur that. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for her hand. I'm 
make that layer black and set it to multiply. I think it'd be funny to add some dust, so I found this photo on Google Images. Set that to screen to get rid of the black. So I'm going to make a new layer here and fill it with black, then paint in where I think the light would be hitting. Set this layer to soft light. This is an optional step, but I think it adds a consistency to the whole image. And just going to add some extra shadows for where she is very close to the walls. Lower the opacity and add some Gaussian blur. You can see the before and after. I'm a little dark so I'm going to erase the overlay over me to brighten myself up. I'm going to finish this off with some film grain. And here's the final image. No! <laughs>